But yeah, I mean, overall, my initial impression was, wow, these are stiff and I feel like I'm getting more out of my pedal strokes. So today, I got to try and answer the question that I've had for about two years now. And I think a lot of people actually really want to know this, so I want to make a video about it so other people can get some independent information that's not selling anything. So today, I went from aluminum, rim brake, road bike wheels, and I got to try out 50 mil deep carbon rim brake road bike wheels. And the depth of the aluminum wheels was about 30 mil and these are 50 mil. The set's about 100 grams heavier, but I switched from rubber tubes to the uh, Tubo Lido which are super light. So I thought maybe that would offset part of the, uh, you know, part of the weight cost, the penalty. So what I did was I went out to a place that I've been before, did a couple of laps, um, just to have kind of a fair comparison. Okay, so far, so far, my opinion is I can tell a difference for sure in stiffness and for sure in arrow. <laughs> They don't feel like they're flexing at all when I stand up. And honestly, like, it's weird, but it just feels like you just roll faster. I mean, I didn't think going from 30 to 50 would really feel that different on the arrow side, but it really, really kind of does. But we'll see what the numbers say. I'm gonna do one full lap and then we'll go from there. But, uh,. Yeah, it kind of feels feels better. I don't know if it's life changing, but eh, it's time for more testing. Um, the times were overall better in places I didn't expect them to be, but I think I think the time is not completely relevant because. It's not the same day, the fitness is not exactly the same, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, but, you know, I really felt like immediately, yeah, these are way more stiff. They're stiffer just sitting down pedaling. Way stiffer feeling when you stand up and pedal, you know, to climb a hill with a lot of torque. So climbing on these wheels, on these little rolling hills, Wheels do feel stiffer for sure, but I can't tell if I actually can feel the weight or I just know they're heavier, but they're not much heavier. I feel like the stiffness compensates for the weight though, maybe. I don't feel like the back is flexing at all right now, and that's not normal with the other wheels. Ooh. feels good and I think that actually showed in the times of some of the climbs because so here's the weird part I did a couple of climbs uh, specifically the one at the end of this loop like 15 seconds faster than I did before which I think my time before was like 220 something like that 2.15 and you know to take that much time off of it's a fairly kicky little punchy climb so it's it's not like the you know the big long climbs but it really shows what putting out torque over a short distance climb will do and really it felt like I was going faster just from the just from the stiffness and I noticed how before when I would stand up and try to punch it up a climb, there would be, you know, you get this real mushy feeling from the wheels. And I really didn't feel that. So it felt like I wasn't losing torque, uh, you know, just to the softness of the wheels, but it, it, it translated into 
I felt like I could stand up and pedal longer for some reason. It felt like I was getting more for my money and it wasn't soaking the energy out of my legs. That's, that's cool. Maybe it'll help me keep up with some of the faster guys that I ride with sometimes. But the, 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 the crazy part is those other wheels, um, they're a little more narrow, but they're 30 mil deep. And anytime I would get in a windy situation, the wind felt like, like hard little slaps of wind. It was just jerky on the front wheel. And what I ended up feeling today was it felt more like two hands just pushing you to the side. So it was very predictable and very, very manageable. And that's, it's, it just felt like I had more confidence not thinking about, oh, you know, is it so windy that I'm going to feel like I'm going to get blown off the road or, you know, I've been in group rides where you just catch some wind and you're just like, you just feel like you're off balance or something because the wind's so jerky. Kind of like this gimbal with the way I'm holding it. Uh, so basically, you know, the, the, the overall thing that I take away from the aero benefit is that it slices through the wind and has a very predictable feeling that's not as sudden. It's more of a gradual wind push that you can deal with. It's very noticeable. It's it's there, but it's like, yeah, I, I can deal with this. Um, we'll see how it is on a super windy day, but for right now, I'm pretty cool with it. It, it just picks up speed better. I know I've heard people say that, but... It, it really does. It just picks up speed better when you're cresting in a hill, even though you're going one, two percent downhill. It just felt like, wow, where's the speed coming from? You know, I think if the braking ends up, you know, if I get comfortable with it, I think they're, they're going to be a winner. You know, the braking, carbon, carbon wheels. I feel like in the dry, in most cases, I think they're going to stop about the same as the rim brakes. Which is weird to say because I just have heard so much about rim brakes being where well, they don't stop. I think these are going to be okay, but uh, not sure about if I get caught in the rain. That's what I'm not sure about. Um, the weight penalty is a little bit noticeable, but I think I think everything else offsets it. And. Um, I want to give them more of a chance, do some more group rides, figure out how it works in uh, different situations. Windier days, in a group ride, in the front of the group, in the back. Yeah, I think for all the people that are on rim brakes and on metal wheels, and you're like, yeah, I, I don't know about that. Here, here's what I would say. Here's what I'd say is the main takeaway. You're going to go a little bit faster when you're at a higher speed the stiffness is undeniable it's it's kind of crazy i thought a lot of my flex was in the bike but it's actually in the wheels it, it was really in the wheels but yeah i think that's i think that's the ball game right there so is it worth it i think if the money is not a big deal i think it can be I think if you feel like you want to try something that'll sort of get you that extra little bit, this might this might be it. Some heavy flexi aluminum wheels are just not the same. These things are pretty cool. So um, yeah, that's that's my opinion, and, and I don't have anything to sell. So hopefully this actually means something to some people that are uh, just out there looking and and really want a realistic impression of what it's like. Uh, if you have other questions, let me know. Maybe I'll try to answer them. That's it. Um, plus they look really cool. They look really cool. <laughs>